Then there were three. Who else wants to step up? I do have a terrifying tale to tell. It was a dark and stormy night. What the? We needed to find us shelter. Boots Motel. My turn to tell a story. The kindly innkeeper was warm and friendly. She made me feel all bubbly inside. My trusty sidekick here would love to present a sidekick. I would love some waffles. We are equals. Oh, man. Of course we are. The noble dog, he reassured his clearly inferior sidekick. I'm getting a little tired. But before Puss could finish his thought, he decided to take a well deserved tongue bag. As long as I am here. But right then, danger came from behind. Ring, 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 ring. Dun, 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 dun. Puss was never seen again. Ha ha. Be it. No, that's not how the story goes. I was well aware of the approaching danger and went for my steel. Somewhere in the way, I'm here to save you. Oh, you're kidding me. <gasps> it was Prince Charming. He was packing heat, and he wanted revenge. I want revenge, he said. But before anyone could do anything, the plan! It was awful, and it was terrible, and it was really, really scary. What? No! Go back! It is impractical! Although the charming was fast, I was swift enough to reverse the attack and live to safety. Which is exactly what he wanted you to do. Oh, charming laughed just like a crazed maniac. <laughs> Sorry, but I will never let that happen to me. Eh? Instead, I, 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 I woke up. Yeah, that's right. It was all a dream. I mean, man, you know you're on the ceiling, right? I will get you over there. Oh, and then the lights went out. It was horrible and sad. How Puss pleaded for mercy. Mercy? Please, said Puss with his last dying breath. But when the lights came back on, it was the donkey who was taking a shower. Oh my goodness, why would I do that? <laughs> and right behind you, there was danger of me. You were paralyzed. <laughs> there was a donkey eating waffle. It was fucking hit, and he wanted revenge. I want revenge. The donkey was right. How far can you run when you are on a plate, covered in butter, wearing a beard to do? Oh, and a sombrero. Oh, and a coconut dress here. Oh, I'm about to be eaten alive. No, please, please, I'll switch the pancakes. Oh! And the donkey was never seen again. <laughs> but what Puss didn't know is that right behind him was the one thing he feared more than anything else. No, you wouldn't. I would. You didn't. I did. No, I didn't say about that. No! Pretty sure that's cheating. <laughs> it worked, didn't it? 